Hey, so before this video starts, I wanted to quickly announce to us some conventions that I'll be going to and that I'll be guest of honor at in 2019. So the first one is Anime Milwaukee in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Of course. <laughs> it's called Anime Milwaukee. Of course it's in Milwaukee. And that is February 15th through the 17th. I'll also be at Golden State Fur Con in Irving, California on April 19th through the 21st. Anthro, Ohio and Columbus, Ohio, May 23rd through 26th, which is Memorial Day weekend. And Conferor in Guadalajara, Mexico on October 11th through the 13th. So those are the cons I'm guests of honor at this year. If you want to come and meet me and hug me or whatever, and you're wanting to go to this con, well, you'll see me there. So let's take a selfie or something or hug or I don't know what else you do. But yeah, okay, back to the video. Hi everyone, my name is Majira, and so I wanted to make a little video because I have a new roommate! Hi. Yay! So basically, uh, Kiwi's my new roommate, and we just moved in to this awesome, super cool, million dollar mansion. Right? Don't lie to them. <laughs> <laughs> no, so me and Kiwi are like renting a house together because we are bros, right? Bros! I thought you were gonna say broke. That too. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it would be fun if we did the roommate tag. That's a thing? Yeah. Oh, I'm scared already. Is this why you wouldn't tell me what we were filming? Yeah, I wanted uh. it to be a surprise. Also, I wanted it to be genuine. I didn't want you to look it up. Okay. So basically, it's like 10-ish questions about what it's like to live with each other. And we've been roommates for probably like six months. Yeah, give or take. So um, I'm really sick of them already, so this <laughs> should be fun. Thanks. <laughs> Where's my angry eyebrows? Just. So I haven't done the roommate tag since Echo. Oh God. Uh, that was like, I don't know, like two or three years ago. Hmm. That's crazy to think about how long ago that was. Okay, ready? As I'll ever be. Question one. Did you guys know each other before you became roommates? Yes. I guess that's the short answer. Oh. <laughs> Did you want me to elaborate? Yes. Okay. I didn't know if you were supposed to answer this or I was. Well, we both can. That's, that's the oh. point of a collaboration. Well, uh, yeah, I knew you for probably over a year before we became roommates. Yeah. Yeah. Question two. What were your first impressions of each other? Before becoming roommates? Yeah. Like you hated me. Then. Yeah, I literally hated Kiwi. You hated the fact I had a legalized woo shirt. Okay, so let me explain why I hated Kiwi. Because I had a lot of reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> so, um, first, I, I like didn't like you. Jo I jokingly didn't like you because um, you were wearing like a legalized woo shirt. Mm -hmm. um, then I like actually didn't like you because you copied one of my videos. Just saying. I mean, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> so like, I did like a face reveal where I like took my head off and you couldn't actually see my face. It was a, a more suit. And then he did a face reveal video literally days later where he took his head off and he had one of those horse masks, which like, whatever, it's not the exact same concept. Well, it is the same concept, but it's like not the same thing. Mm -hmm. But the thing that made it so you copied me was that you even set up your shots the exact same way. Can I be completely honest though? Yeah. Like I legitimately took the idea but never meant to copy you shot, like shot for shot. I promise you that. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. You saw the room I had. I was limited how I could shoot in there. Okay. I pro- <sighs> Question three, how long did, did it take before you became friends? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, um, do you know that? I think we like became friends, like it was between Megaplex and MFF 2017. That sounds right. Because Megaplex, like we met before Megaplex, like mm -hmm. a few months before. We met at a Fermi in Pittsburgh, a few months before Megaplex 2017. And then we went to Megaplex and you kind of hung out with us, mm -hmm. but you got like really drunk and you were annoying. So I didn't really like you that much. But at some point between that Megaplex and MFF, I liked you because I invited you over to my house. Yeah, you almost uninvited me though. Why? The cowboy hat. Oh yeah, <laughs> I hate that hat. I kept sending him videos of me like listening to country music wearing a cowboy hat and he says if you bring that to my house, yeah, you're uninvited. If you want to be my friend, that's like the worst <laughs> thing to do. Question four? What do you commonly argue about? Oh, that's a big list. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of the most recent one. 
Um, I argue with him a lot about his motivation. That's fair. Be Work ethic. Because I get so mad at him when he's like, I'm gonna do this thing, and then he never does it. You know what I argue with you about? What? Your constant sleeping and napping. Yeah, well listen, at least I am sleeping and resting my body so I can get work done. All the time. <laughs> we never get things done because you fall asleep. I, okay, listen, he went to bed last night at like 6 p.m. and then woke up at like 10. 10, and I went to bed at 10 and woke up at 7 a.m. like a civilized person. <laughs> But you stayed up all night, so it's not my fault that I have a good sleeping schedule and you don't. That's the first time I've seen you go to bed before midnight in a long time. Oh, that's when we argue about what to do for food. Yeah, but that's because I always ask you what you want and you won't tell me. Because I always ask you what you want. No, uh, well, you'll ask me what I want, but then I'll say like, oh, I want Chipotle, and then you're like, oh, we got that yesterday. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, what do you want? And you're like, you pick. <laughs> a, a man can't survive on Chipotle only. <laughs> well, I just, you ask me what I want and I say I want Chipotle. And then you always get upset. So I just stop answering because you always get upset when I want Chipotle. I'm not at fault here. It's your fault. It's my fault because I want to know what you want. Yeah, and then you ask me and you don't want it and then you don't tell me what you want instead. Oh, uh, you're right. I'm sorry. What is one thing that really bothers you that your roommate does? Hmm... The only thing I can come up with is that you, you don't do your laundry as often as I do. No, that is a big lie. I did your laundry all last month. It was closer to your bed to go to the laundry machine. I literally did all of his laundry last month, and he did my laundry like twice in the last week, and he's complaining. I never asked you to. Yeah, but I still did it, so you, you're not allowed to get mad at me for that. The only other thing I can <laughs> even think of is that you sometimes leave wet towels on my bed, or at least you used to. You stopped doing that since we <laughs> moved in. Because I go to lay down and the bed would have a wet spot and I would be like, what happened? And there's just a wet towel there. Okay, so I don't like to stay in the bathroom until I'm dry. <laughs> That's the thing that I've been wanting to be like, stop getting out of the shower and literally bolting out of the bathroom dripping wet because then there's water everywhere. Here, here, listen, the water's gonna dry, but if I stay in the bathroom where it's really humid mm -hmm. and like sticky and hot, mm -hmm. like I'm just gonna feel gross after I shower. So I would rather get out of the shower and then leave the bathroom entirely to dry off so I can be in like a cooler environment and get dry quicker and open the bathroom up so you can go to the bathroom. Make me step in wet puddles with my socks. It's like walking on mashed potatoes. I hate it so much. I just like, I don't want to be in the bathroom right after I shower. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> uh, something your roommate does that annoys you, I think? Um, something that you do that annoys me is when you vape in, a, in an area where there's no airflow so the vape just stays everywhere. I'm trying to recreate every Snoop Dogg video ever made. Like you'll vape in my room you might vape away from me because I originally complained that you would vape in my face. Mm -hmm. So you stop vaping in my face but you'll vape like this way but there's like no fan or anything over here so it just kind of sits and then like comes back over <laughs> here and I smell it and I'm just like. It just wants to come say hi and give you a face hug. I don't need that in my lungs. <laughs> well, we have fans now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put like a no smoking sign on my door. <gasps> I feel targeted. Who spends more time getting ready in the morning? Ooh. Well, he's never awake in the morning. Neither are you. Hey, I woke up at seven thirty this morning. Today. <laughs> in like the last week. <laughs> Until like Thursday, I've been up every day before you. Uh, that's not true. That's true. That's not true. That's true. I woke up like literally at six a.m. the day that the washing machine was gonna be delivered, and you woke up five minutes before they got here. It's not like I play video games, I was doing stuff. Mm -hmm. So we didn't actually answer the question. Wait, which one? <laughs> Wait, what was the question? Who spends more time getting ready in the morning? Oh, uh, well, assuming, assuming we both wake up at the same time. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Dead, dead even start, okay. Mm. I'm gonna say probably you. You. How? Most days I don't even shave my face. I get up, shower, and put clothing on. Mm. I want to start timing this now. <laughs> in fact, in fact, some days I will shower the night before, go to bed, so when I wake up, it is pants, okay. shirt, Okay, gun. that's true. I always, I will only shower in the morning. Like, even if I shower right before bed, I'll feel gross in the morning. So, mm -hmm. I suppose I take longer because I actually shower. But not by much. You're not like people that take hours in the bathroom. Yeah, unless I'm shaving, then I take a little bit more time. That should be a question. Who takes longer to shave? You. Really? Yeah. I can shave my face in like five minutes. Well, yeah. I do mine, but I shave in the shower. So do I. Oh, I thought you like got out and then got back no, in. No, screw that. If you don't shave in the shower, like you're going to cut your face. Yeah, that's fair. Like, because the shower, like the warm water, like softens everything. So mm -hmm. it's super easy to just go like 
get it all gone. So I guess the, the, the answer to that question then would be, on average, I would take longer only because I would like get up, shower, shave, do my hair and everything. Cause like sometimes I put product in that takes time. <laughs> Ooh. What is something you didn't notice about each other until you became roommates? Mm, now I have to think about this. See, this is hard because I didn't have a chance to think about these questions. Well, the biggest thing I guess is just really how like, how to phrase this, uh, how much you like to be alone. Cause like, I'm used to just coming over to hang out and we would just literally hang out. But like living together, there's a lot of time that we spend a completely separate room. Right. A lot. Um, and at first it was weird because I thought maybe you hated me and didn't want to live with me, but it's just, you just like having alone time to do whatever. Yeah, just like, I, I really value my time by myself because I don't really get it much. Mm -hmm. uh, so I like to just not be around anybody. It's fair. I'm honestly the same way, the, the more as time goes by, I like to just be able to like sit and either game or browse Twitter or whatever. Um, speaking of that, uh -oh. one, one, <laughs> one thing I noticed about you when I lived with you is how much time you waste on your phone. Yeah. Like scrolling TikTok for <laughs> three hours. How are you going to call me out like this? <laughs> how? <laughs> go, go, go check out my TikToks. How do you deal with sharing a bathroom? Well, luckily we have two of them. Yeah, but so we didn't always have two because we just moved in, into this place recently. But before we shared a bathroom, I guess I feel like we had like varied enough schedules. It wasn't a problem. I mean, like, I, I've definitely like gone to the bathroom while you're showering before. I mean, who hasn't? And it's like, like it's chill. Like. <laughs> If you're gonna live together with someone, you have to have like a certain level of just comfort to yeah. be like, look man, sometimes you just gotta take care of stuff. <laughs> Do you make two separate dinners at night? I would say no. Uh, like occasionally? Yeah, not- We usually just like eat the same thing. It's like, cause if we go out to eat, we usually go to the same place anyway, unless we're like at the mall or something and there's a food court. Um. But no, if I cook at home, I'll try to make stuff he'll eat, and, and that way it's like, if I'm gonna do the work, just do it once and, you know, be done with it. Yeah, I just feel bad because I don't eat red meat uh, or pork, and those are things I think you like. So. But you also like chicken, which I can work with. True, but like, I don't want you to not eat what you want to eat just because of me. I get it when we go out. I'm not gonna buy it because then I don't have to cook it. Okay, that's valid. Do you use your roommate's things without asking? The only things I ever use without asking are things that I've already used with asking, um, which is very few. There's really nothing of yours that I don't already have. Like our filming equipment, we have our own, we have our own computers. Like I guess dishes would be the only thing we share, but maybe stuff like the soap in the shower maybe? Oh, like the other day I used your house shoes while you're sleeping. Oh. Your I, slippers. I've used your sandals a million times. <laughs> so, I put them back. So, you know. Yeah, so I guess that's one thing we didn't ask. Um, what are your favorite things to do with each other? To be completely honest, one of the reasons I think we work so well as roommates is that we do spend a lot of time together because we enjoy the same things, you know? My favorite thing to do with you is go to Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. I'd say my favorite thing to do with you is to just go shopping. Like when we go to the mall and stuff. Oh yeah, it's fun. It's I, fun to hang out. I also like live streaming with you. Yeah. Because you make it a lot, like, I get really anxious on live stream because mm -hmm. I'll literally hit start streaming and two minutes later there's like a thousand people watching mm -hmm. and I'm just like, what do I do? <laughs> and I also can't see because I, I don't wear my glasses under my head, and also there's some mesh, so it like makes words look like there's like four words, you know what I mean? So he, he will like read the chat for me, and then it's a lot easier. <laughs> so I guess going with that, another thing I love to do is fursuit with you. Like a fort a con, or just anywhere in public. Uh -huh. It's fun! Yay! We're holiday colored. Look up for the thumbnail. Hi. Wait, what? I what? should strangle you for the thumbnail. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Are you dead? No. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so yeah, that's a roommate tag. Uh, it's my second time doing a roommate tag. Maybe I'll do more if you decide to move out. Not happening. We'll see. You're stuck with me forever. My next video is annoying Kiwi to the point where he leaves my house. I welcome it. <laughs> so uh, make sure you check out Kiwi's channel. We're doing a video over there where he like opens boxes. It's pretty much what it is, right? I'm just a, I'm a review channel at this point. Honestly, yeah. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Bye.